The next alimentary tract we are going to discuss right now is that of the tapeworm. The tapeworm is found in the intestine of some mammals as endoparasites. It has no alimentary tract as it feeds on already digested food. It absorbs the digested food from the host by simple diffusion. The next alimentary tract we are going to look at is that of the bird. The digestive system of the bird is simply made up of the beak, the mouth, the pharynx, the suffragus, the crop, the proventiculus, the gizzard, the intestine, the rectum, and the anus. The bird uses the beak to pick out fruits, grains, and so many other food because they don't have the teeth. The food then moves down to, through the mouth to the of suffragus down to the crop. The food is stored temporarily in the crop where it is moistened and fermented by various bacteria. From the crop, the food passes to the proventiculus where the digestive enzymes such as the pepsin, the amylase, etc. are secreted on the food. From the proventiculus, the food moves to the gizzard where it is being further grinded. The gizzard is also called the granular stomach and it grinds the food with the aid of secreted acid. So from the gizzard, the food moves to the duodenum and the intestine where further digestion and absorption of food takes place. So the undigested food are moved through the cachea to the rectum and finally to the anus where the feces and the urine are removed from the body at the same time. So we have actually discussed back that of the bed. As it moves, it starts from the beak that picks up the food to the mouth, to the pharynx, to the cephagus, the crop, the proventiculus, the gizzard, the intestine, the cacar, the rectum, and the anus. The next alimentary tract we are going to discuss right now is the alimentary tract of man. The alimentary tract of man consists of the mouth, the cephagus, the stomach, the small intestine which further divides into the, the duodenum the, and the ileum the appendix, the large intestine, the rectum, and the anus. Every single action that happens for food to digest in man begins from the mouth. As the food that we take in into the mouth, the mouth consists of both the teeth, the salivary gland, the tongue. The teeth helps to grind this food, mixed with the salivary gland that contains the various enzymes that also helps in the breakdown of the food. The tongue also assists in the rolling of this food, which forms into the bolus. The bolus now will now move to the next organ that we will consider, which is the oesophagus. The oesophagus connects the mouth to the stomach and it enables the food, the bolus, to flow down through a specific movement, which we call the peristatic movement, which enables the bolus to flow down, down to the stomach. In the stomach, different digestive enzymes also act on the food and breaks them down. The food also moves through the small intestine. At the small intestine, which further divides into the duodenum and the ileum, enzymes act on the food as well and it moves down from the small intestine where this digested food has been absorbed into the body. Next we have is the large intestine. The function of the large intestine is basically the absorption of water. And when this undigested food has been absorbed, the water in them has been absorbed, it moves through the rectum where they are stored until the body begins to feel that you want to defecate or feel that you want to release this undigested food, which finally moves out through the anus. In the entire process of digestion, I would like you to go through the notes and the other videos that discuss the digestion in man.